All right, this video uh, is going to talk about the planning feature. So if we go under instruction located over here on the left, you will see that there is an option that says planner. Now I know many of you probably already have ways that you plan and this is an optional feature that I just want to make available. Uh, so if we go under planner, uh, you can see here it will have a teacher's schedule listed in here. So I can see here, um, you know, we've got chemistry B up here and then I've got another chem B, uh, so forth. And I can change if I want to look for just, you know, a particular day or if I want to see, you know, a day in the future. Uh, if I want to see an entire month view, a week, uh, here we go. So let's just say I want to plan for this day. Uh, you can see there's nothing listed in this white space here, which means there's no plan that's been created. And then they do give us a, 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 like a demo one that someone has already made for us. So we'll look at that and then we'll show you how to make a new one from scratch. So this is where you just are putting down an item, a plan for that period, what you're going to teach, what you're going to discuss, what you're going to assess maybe. So if I click on that, you'll see this box pops out and they didn't give us a whole lot of details. It just says week one and two here. Uh, if I go over to details, they didn't type as much uh, and they didn't give us any kind of reflective data here. Uh, so if we wanted to edit this one, we could go up here and click on edit and we could type in whatever we want. You could put bullet points here. You can put a list just like the, uh, the rich content editor in Canvas or similar to it. We can go through and say what it is that we're going to do for that day. Uh, if you'd like to get super organized, you can even link your files here so that uh, you could just open this up in class and have your documents ready to go instead of looking for them in the morning. Um, you could, if you wanted to, add a task such as a discussion or a quiz or a submission. Um, again, I don't know that uh, we want to necessarily recommend that because that might get students confused as to whether or not they have to complete tasks on Infinite Campus versus uh, the tools that are already available and they're familiar with in uh, Canvas. Uh, but they do give you that option. So I'm going to focus on just the planning part and not the student interactive piece here. Okay, they do give you the ability here to preview if you want to see what it looks like. Do you want to see the teacher preview, the student, or even the parent preview? Because remember, parents can see information if they have set up their account. Um, so I could go in here and say, I don't know, they're going to complete a uh, uh, chemistry equation worksheet. Uh, and then I'll just save that. All right, it is saved. And I do have up here along the top the ability to add this particular item to a folder. So maybe if I want to get super organized, I could organize all my courses by folder. And then I could add this particular planning uh, into that folder so that it makes it easier for future and subsequent uh, semesters and in, uh, in school years. Okay, I will go over here and close. And now I do have something here that's listed. So if I click on it in the future, I can see, oh, I have a chemistry worksheet. And if I had it linked, it would show up here. So uh, very similar to other planning websites out there, uh, but this is all built into one. All right, how do we make a new item for a period that doesn't already have one set up for us? So over here, I can choose new, and I can go in here and decide. I'm going to say that I want to make a... Um, a new resource because I, I don't know that I want to list these up here because then students will see them and that'll get uh, confusing with what's on Canvas and what's unique to this site. So I'm just going to say that this is a new resource and I'm going to say that students are going to solve equations here in this class. I don't know, I'm just making this up as I go along. Uh, solve equations, uh, that's what they're going to do. When's the start date for it? It's going to start on this date that we're on. I'm just going to say it's going to finish on that date. And then um, I'm just going to press save again. This is just the teacher planner. I'm not trying to confuse students with what we're syncing from Canvas. That's coming up in a later video. All right, if I press close now, you can see here on my teacher planner, I have solve equations. All right, so uh, that is all nice and neat there for me. If I needed to print this out and maybe give this to a, uh, for a substitute, it's really nice if, if you do have things in here, it will go ahead and put your sub plans together. That, at least that's how I see this as being really helpful. Um, nice uh, document that shows what are they doing per period, when are the periods, which is nice that you don't have to type that up anymore, um, what the assignment is, how many students are in the class. So it's really nice and neat to, to be able to give this to uh, you know, a substitute. All right, uh, we do have the option in here. If you see, it says library, library. Uh, this is a way you could search for existing assignments you have, or you could actually find them available from other faculty members. So uh, while that's not enabled in this demo site, 
uh, there is the ability, like in Canvas, to share uh, plans. So I do want to point that out. Um, you've got Classroom, which is really trying to switch over uh, to more of the learning management side. So we do want to make it to where that that's more done on the or exclusively done on the Canvas side, and it just shows up. It's synced over on this side. Um, but that is there. Uh, let me, you can see here, let me go back a second. All right, uh, I've got my schedule. Again, uh, nice to be able to print that off and hand that to a substitute in your folder. Uh, I've got on here other schedules where I could go through and search for um, another teacher. Again, I don't know if that's going to be enabled, but uh, maybe this is only at the administrative level, but you, we would have the ability to search for a teacher and print out their schedule as well. Uh, the demo version doesn't quite have that part uh, active. So uh, one last thing you've got over here in settings, uh, how you want these particular planners to look and whether or not you want to show empty periods as a certain color or just leave them blank and whether you want to show just certain periods. So maybe if it's a B or a C day, you can actually uh, block out certain periods so that those are not listed in the substitute schedule. So that will give us the ability to customize uh, the report for printing. All right, so that's the planner. Uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward, some serious benefits, especially, uh, like I said, printing out reports for substitutes or for colleagues if you have to leave. Um, it's really neat and easy to do. The courses are already set up in here, so uh, it's pretty easy to just walk in and put your plans together. All right, that's it for setting up the teacher planner.